Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know my next guest from her years on Law and Order. Now she's starring on the hit show Crossing Jordan, which airs every Monday night on NBC. Please welcome Jill Hennessy. You put on the mic, or I could help you. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Could you help me? I will that? help you. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's good. There, that's fine. Is that good? You like yes, it? Yes, okay. that's perfect. A little lower. No. How are you? How you doing? Nice uh, to see you. I'm okay. Yeah? I yeah. have some questions for you. We had, uh, and it's a talk show, so that's appropriate. I like starting all interviews. I have some questions for you. Can I respond with nothing? <laughs> yeah, nothing. Nothing. We're going to get a letter from Keanu Reeves I now. Know. Oh, my gosh. In yeah. crayon. Just kidding. Uh, <laughs> kidding. Come on, Keanu. You're a cool dude. Uh, I'm just kidding. Uh, he'll never find us. Um, <laughs> we had your co-star. Miguel Ferrer, Miguel Ferrer on the show recently, talking to him about your show, Crossing mm -hmm. Jordan, and he said that there's some inappropriate touching on the set. So I made a uh, mental note. I think I'm going to see Jill Hennessy soon. I want to ask yeah. about that. What's, are the men inappropriately touching the women, or is it the women? The, what's happening? I, I think that I've sufficiently sexually harassed everybody on set. Um, but this will be used Miguel. at the trial, this yeah, case. Yeah, I know. Now we have evidence. How do you sexually uh, harass Miguel Ferrer? Well, I, Miguel is, has a very warped sense of humor, mm -hmm. um, which I do as well, mm -hmm. actually. And if you come to set, you'll sort of feel that. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, we always sort of had this thing going. And, and whenever I approach him, for some reason, I'm really attracted to his, his breasts. You know? I, I just have to, like, go up well, and go... Man, no, what? Uh, yeah, exactly. Wait, do that again? I, I just go... Bloo. You yeah. grab either, I call I, them man boobs. Sort of, they're not. The man boobs. The man right. boobies. Mammalia. Mammalia Ma works. Yeah, right? mammalia. Yeah, okay. Yes. One so and two. I, 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 you know, well, like, I, I don't of, have breasts, like, like but. That. Yeah, okay. So, so you grab either yeah. one, um, and then what do you do? You stick it's your head like in. a good morning. You know, good morning. <laughs> um, well, he seemed kind of big in this depiction. No, because he's muscular. That's it's the pecs, man. It's uh, the pecs. Right. And what um, do you call this move? Do you have a name for it? I didn't know it had a name, but he actually told me, he said, wow, you actually bronskied me. I said, bronsky. And he said, yeah, Bronski. I said, I've never heard of that. And it, apparently, this is a term. I, oh, my goodness. I, I, of course, Miguel knows this term. I honestly had no idea. Um, it's a term used for basically when uh, uh, a, a female who's performing um, saw clothing uh, for somebody. A stripper. A stripper, a stripper, yeah. yeah. Um, basically, <laughs> yeah, places certain appendages. Her, um, her boobies, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I feel like I'm working um, for the UN, I know, you know? I'm trying to be delicate. Boobies. I'm trying to be delicate. Stripper. Uh, yeah, I, I, on either side of somebody's... Kofi Annan is listening. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and that's, that's, that's what it's That's the term? Called. Yeah, I guess because it, it's sort of onomatopoeic, you know, the bronski, you know? I thought so, that was called the hubbada, hubbada, hubbada. Yeah. Yeah. Or the hebda, 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 or the flubbada, dubbada, dubbada. But Bronski. It. I, I've only done it to Miguel. That's it. I honestly, really. Now, have you ever been to? I mean, there are male strip clubs. You've never gone to something like that. Oh, oh man. Come on, uh, yes, Rosie O'Donnell yes. was just out here I know, talking like a I, sailor on gosh. shore leave. You can oh, just tear boy. loose tonight. How yeah. can I compare to that? <laughs> yeah. I, okay, so yes, I was in. I was in a, a, a male strip club once, mm -hmm. and I was. I was dragged. Honestly, I was dragged. This this friend of mine uh, decided to purchase a lap dance mm -hmm. for me. And I didn't know. So I'm sitting there with my friend. I'm dying to, to go because I, I feel just very uncomfortable. I don't know how to, how to react in those places. And suddenly this guy comes towards me and it literally sort of spreads my legs a little bit and is basically dancing right in front of me. Right. And I'm just feeling uh, terrified. I'm, I'm conflicted. I, I'm also, as a performer, too, I feel bad because here's this guy performing, you know, and I think, well, geez, should I, I should at least acknowledge him. You know? It's rude to, like, look away if someone's away. giving their all. And, and, and he when was, I was, when was, I was a male stripper, all. I was very hurt when people would turn away yeah. or I point and laugh. It hurt my feelings. I don't know. You're good. sensitive. Thank yes, you. You're a yes. Performer. Yes. You want to be watched. You want to be acknowledged. And Thank so you. I was watching him, you know, trying to, like, give him a thumbs up. You know, right. and I was, oh, good. Good for you. Yeah. But not knowing, what do you say? And he was doing things, I mean, with 
you know, his certain most intimate areas, you know, right, that I've only right. seen seen people do with like silly putty, you know? <laughs> and I'm just like That poor was, guy. <laughs> it was oh, it was really that doesn't sound it really good. made me question my sexuality for a while. You know, it was just like, oh what am I well no, this is not working. It's wrong. Yeah, uh, so is I've never been to a male strip club mm -hmm. and uh, I defy anyone to find a photo. Uh, <laughs> that's not me. Uh, but anyway <laughs> I've never been to one. Is it the same moves as the women are doing? Are they like swinging around a pole too? There was no pole. There's no pole. No, there was no pole. Right. No, th this uh, and believe me, I remember vividly. I, I, I'm trying to erase it from my mind, but it's no. There was a lot of hip gyration. Right. You know. So and, it's and all then in a this lot area. Gymnastics, though, man. Really, I was I was shocked. Right. You know. Uh, you know, self physical manipulation. That's as far as I'm going to go. This is fascinating. But, uh, We've got to get footage of this yeah, and uh, yeah, it was... show it on someone else's program. <laughs> uh, now, uh, Crossing Jordan is doing mm -hmm. very well. Yeah. This, well, is, we were this is no. This is a top thrilled. ten show. This is uh, exciting. Yeah. You know, I, you act like I'm telling you this. No, now. but I just found I, you know, I keep hearing these numbers, and numbers don't really mean much until you start talking to people in the street and then you realize what well, my gosh we really uh i guess we're the number one new new drama that's a good thing on the air and yeah we're really psyched i mean it's uh it's a very cool cool thing well the show it, it's monday nights 10 right on this network nbc mm -hmm. which is a good thing for us oh, yeah. i like it when the network does well because um they put a chip in my head about four years ago <laughs> Scary. Yeah. But thank you very much for being here. Very oh, nice thank to have you. you. Jill Hennessy, everybody, look at the break. We'll be right back. That was great. Monday, the Fear Factor Tournament of Champions season finale. The nine former winners who remain will face three insane challenges to find the one champion. Now the best of the best face the worst of the worst in the Fear Factor Tournament of Champions season finale. NBC Monday. When it comes to the subject of violence, don't fail your kids. Talk with them. Sponsored by Buick and NBC5. to the rescue. It's Toyota of Dallas, $1 over sales event. Second quarter sales goals must be met. We're kicking the competition with $1 over. 2002 Toyota Camry, $1 over. 16985 2002 Forerunners, four-wheel drive, $7,500 off the $1 over. Sales event this weekend only, only at Mr. Toyota, Toyota of Dallas. At Joe's Crab Shack, we've gone crab crazy. Hey, Joe! Run into Joe's Crab Shack for our awesome mouth-watering snow crab dinner for only $9.99. That's right, a pound of hot steaming snow crab with sides, all for just $9.99. Get them any way you like them. Barbecue, garlic, or steam. A full pound. Ooh-wee! It's good stuff. So what are you waiting for? Get to Joe's Crab Shack now for a pound of snow crab for just $9.99. You gotta go eat at Joe's. With just $39, take over the payments. Good evening, North Texas Town Park and Trophy Nissan. And through this Saturday, over 400 bank repos, lease returns, and trade-ins must go. Make us an offer, including sport utilities like this 2001 Infiniti QX4. Hard to find 2001 Nissan Crew Cab Supercharged. Or with 39 down, this 2001 Ford Escape is yours for $259 a month. Plus $3 million in finance approvals are available only through Saturday and only at 635 in Galloway. Trophy, trophy, trophy Nissan. Count them. One, two, three. Three days only. It's the Oak Mills Super Three Day Sale. This weekend, you can count on this. Pay absolutely nothing for one full year. Super savings store wide on bedrooms, dining rooms, china cabinets, entertainment centers, office, and computer furniture. Plus, do not pay for one full year. This Friday, 10 hours only. Oh, oh, the Oak Got mud in your blood? It's the Off-Road Offload Sales Event at your Dallas-Fort Worth Isuzu dealers. Get 0% financing and $1,500 cash back. Yes, 0% financing and $1,500 cash back on the best off-road ready SUVs on the planet. Plus, get Isuzu's Go Farther 10-year 120,000-mile warranty. The Off-Road Offload Sales Event ends May 31st. Only at your Dallas-Fort Worth Isuzu dealers. Your SUV HQ.
Exactly. All right, everybody, that's our show. I do want to thank all my guests. Thank you, Jill Hennessy, for being here, oh. for always being so lovely and funny. Big thanks to Rosie O'Donnell for being on the program. And uh, big thanks to, uh, to our intern works here on the show, Aaron Blayart, on the program. A good man, yeah, but he'll be better soon. And of course, Max Weinberg and the Max Weinberg 7. Stay tuned for Last Call with Carson Daly. Bye, buddy. <laughs> zone right here mm. is safety and what I'm trying to get you to do as a hairstylist is move away from your safe zone and come with me to danger town Welcome the new